It's been called the Ferrari Miami. Not the Ferrari California. Right? Right, Emil? This is a very Miami car. This is white Ferrari California. Of course, the California with the hard top convertible. I love this thing. But I only love this thing because of what we've done to it already. So we just did the Novatech Sports Springs. This customer of mine, his name is Chad. I met him very recently, a couple months ago, but this is already gonna be the second car we've done. We did his Rolls Royce Ghost, which we did not feature on the video, but it's coming back for some Brembo brakes. So hopefully very soon we'll have that. This is his wife's California. He's coming back with a 488 and he's also coming back with an Aventador, hopefully. I gotta convince him to do that. But uh, he's become a great buddy of mine over the last couple of months. So hopefully um, he's gonna love this. His wife hopefully will love it as well. It's also gonna tell me how quickly and how much he watches our show because if we release it on Thursday, I should, re I should hear from him Thursday night saying thank you. So um, big shout out to my buddy, Chad. But going back to the car, I think I love this car so much because of the wheels that we've done. We've got Anarchy AN35's three-piece wheel with deep concavity, both front and the rear. So move a little bit over. If you look down the side of the, of the car, it is so hard to even see the center face on this because of the deep concave profile that we have. Chad loves a five spoke. I love five spoke on Ferrari. So I was able to convince him to do that. His girl, um, Karen, she has brushed silver center is what she chose, polished outer lip. I think it looks killer. And one of my favorite, favorite parts is that they have the Ferrari carbon center cap option. And I think that sets it off. I mean, the whole car is white. You've got brushed, you've got a little bit of yellow with the Ferrari badge in here. So let me know what you guys think about it. So, ugh. <laughs> all right, guys. So this Porsche 991.2 GT3 behind me, we had completed in March of 2019. But at that time, we didn't have our YouTube channel just yet. So this car is back to do some uh, minor cosmetic upgrades. But I wanted to introduce it again to you guys in case you hadn't seen those set of images and talk a little bit about what we had done back in March of 2019. So. Right off the bat, I can see a lot of the uh, black plastics that come on the car. Usually come from factory in this, um, almost like a matte, almost like a satin, where it's very, very dull. It almost looks like a plasti dip. But uh, right off the bat, I could see that we had done the gloss black for some of the trim, specifically the front DRL surrounds. I think also the surround around the headlight. And then moving our way down, you'll see a little bit more like the end plates for the wing. However, it also has some tech art pieces which are hard to notice because with the tech art pieces, we painted it in the same Miami blue. So right below me, we have the front spoiler. We also have the side skirts and we have the rear diffuser as well. And back there, we also have an IPE exhaust, which we'll get into a little bit more. But let me also talk about the HRE R101 lightweights, just so you can guys can see uh, the things we can do with the GT3 and that wheel model from HRE. All right. so. What we have here, of course, is the HRE R101 lightweight. You can see the Porsche carbon ceramic brake disc in the back with a big caliper. Always love the look of this thing. This R101 lightweight is finished in gloss black. It obviously has the center lock for the GT3, but this wheel also comes in five lugs. So if you have a Carrera, Carrera S, or anything of the like with a five lug bull pattern, this wheel can also be made for it. On this actual car, we did a 21 inch size. So up front, we have a 21 by nine and a half. In the rear, we have a 21 by 12 and a half, which allows us to use a 255, 30, 21, and a 325, 25, 21 tire. Now, even though this is one inch larger in diameter on the front and the rear wheels than the factory wheels, it still sheds over 20 pounds versus the factory wheel setup. So that's about nine kilograms across the set. And in total, these are gonna weigh 80 pounds or 36.2 kilograms for the entire set. And that's in the 21 inch size. 
again, this wheel does come in 20 inch, so imagine with a 20 inch, you're almost getting to um, under 17 pounds for the front, almost even 16 pounds, and the rear is under 20 pounds. It's pretty crazy. I love what HRE does with their wheels. It's a fact that this is the most lightweight forged aluminum wheel in the world for these GT3s. Obviously, you could get into something like a BBS magnesium wheel, which is roughly double the price, which will be lighter. But for traditional 6061 aerospace grade aluminum, it is the most lightweight wheel option for this car. And let's uh, work our way back to the rear end so that we can see some of the IPE titanium exhaust components, as well as the tech art carbon pieces that I mentioned that are painted in the Miami blue. So I won't bore you guys too much, but if you look at some stock photos of the GT3, you'll notice that the end plates and the air intakes here are that matte black that I mentioned earlier. So when that car was here a couple years back, we removed all of these pieces and we did a gloss black. And I really like it because it matches with the window trim and a couple of other pieces on the front. We also did the chrome black exhaust tips with the IPE exhaust. I actually did like a little push up position earlier to see what we had. And it is the IPE titanium down there. I can tell because the colors are changing already with all that heat, there's various hues of blue, purple, and pink. Very, very cool. I would turn it on, but with Porsche, they have a rev limiter when the car's in neutral or in park, so you won't really get a, a full grasp of it. And unfortunately, uh, this client of ours does not want it to be driven way too much, and understandably so. We respect all of those things that, uh, that the customers want. But as you can imagine, if you go to our channel, we have had the IP exhaust featured a couple of times. The one that comes to mind is the green GT3 RS. That RS and this GT3 non-RS share the same exact, exact muffler portion and titanium from IPE. So take a look at that video if you want to hear the sound clip. And then continuing our way this way, we've got the rear section from TechArt that comes prepped for paint from Germany, which is where TechArt is located. They do a lot of aero testing on the kit, so it's not just something for looks, it's something that's functional as well. And then moving our way to the side, we've got the side skirts that are also painted in Miami blue. We got the front spoiler, but my favorite tech art piece here is the carbon mirror cap. I like it because it's not just all one carbon piece, but it integrates the car's color, in this case, Miami blue, with the carbon. The weave is beautiful. Again, they go through all of the aero testing. It looks very, very good. The carbon quality is amazing from tech art. So overall, I love this car. This customer does not ever take it on the track. It is an automatic, so it doesn't have to have the most lightweight wheels. It sticks with the ethos of the car being lightweight and they're 20 pounds more lightweight than the four wheels of the factory wheels, but also he wanted the look and which is what he mainly goes for. He wants it to look as, ma as amazing as possible in his opinion, and that's with the 21 inch. I would agree with him. A lot of people see this car and they think it's amazing. They don't even realize that the wheels are 21. So if you're not a track guy and you don't need the absolute lightest wheel possible for this car, you can still order these in 21 inch size and it looks amazing.